Hello, my friends. Welcome to the weekly What's Up in Makeup live chat here on YouTube. I am not going to get full energy today. <laughs> I was inspired to make this uh, video about when you just don't have time to do your makeup or you just don't feel like doing your makeup. What are some good go-to products to use? Because last night, What's Up in Makeup was a nightmare. <laughs> trying to get this video done. I'm not going to uh, bore you with the details, but what it comes down to is my computer, um, the way that I filmed it on my camera, the file sizes were accidentally really huge. So it made the processing speed of my computer very slow. So it got stuck on my computer, like making it from, well, I'm boring you already. I said I wasn't going to do this. So basically, it took a really long time to make into a video file on my computer, and then it took a really long time to upload to YouTube, and I was essentially um, up and down all night checking on it, trying to make sure that it was ready to go. Uh, so it went up a little bit late today, um, but not so late that um, that it wasn't up before 9.30, so that makes me happy. But, but yeah, so I am like super tired today. I'm kind of a mess. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to say because being a sleepy person, <laughs> you know, it can really kind of mess with you a little bit. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I've got some great products to share with you because I think we all have those days where we don't feel like doing our makeup or we just don't have the time because we've got to be somewhere, you know. So I thought that would be good, you know, to share kind of my routine of of these kinds of situations. But uh, before we get into that, I do want to say hello to the collective brain of makeup awesomeness, also known as the people that are here in live chat. I'm going to scroll to the top and it looks like Quirky Beauty is here. Nadine is here. Quirky Beauty says, so happy to catch chat today. There are some advantages to cooking a meal that takes hours to cook. Yay. <laughs> Tori is here. My friend Nancy is here. Good morning, Nancy. Kind of new here. I haven't seen you in a few weeks. Good to see you here. You might have been here. I just didn't see with a gold digger is here who I haven't seen in a few weeks. Good to see you as well. Uh, Natalia is here. I almost called you Natalia. That's how I am. Um, Nadine is encouraging people to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you, Nadine. You can feel free to share the stream with anybody you think would enjoy it. Aaron is here. Alicia is here. So good to see you. Uh, Cindy is here. Melody and Tabitha, of course, is here. Thank you so much. Uh, and Laura and Debbie Green, who's always in the house. Cindy is here. And with Tina and Julio down by the schoolyard up in the house. If I didn't say good morning to you, good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here. So, uh, yeah. So while we're doing this, we don't necessarily only have to talk about these kinds of products. We can talk about anything you want people that are here live. If you're watching on the replay, uh, hopefully you enjoy the topics that the people who are here live bring up. Um, and also their suggestions for things that they do to get ready quickly. So where I'm going to start is with face primer, which I don't use when I'm in a hurry. I figure I'll sacrifice those out that hour or two of wear time um, <laughs> for um, for being able to go quicker. I, I don't care enough. I would much rather go faster. So, And I also don't use a full coverage product all over my face when I'm trying to go fast because I feel like there's more. Um, I need to worry more about blending. I don't have a lot of discoloration on my face or things that I'm trying to cover. So I can get away with using uh, a less coverage product and feel confident about my face base. Some people feel confident about their face base no matter what, everybody's different, but some people I know feel like they really have things that they need to take care of before they can move on. Um, so this is just for me. I brought out the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I did get this over the holidays uh, from the Sephora VIB sale, and I really like this. A couple of people have left comments that they don't enjoy this, but I personally really, really like it. No one's really told me why they don't like it, which I'd be very curious to know, and it would be helpful to the community to know as well. I forgot my mirror. Okay, wrap it up. All right. So, um, Quirky Beauty says, I love primer, but to hydrate. Yeah, and you know, I've already used my Pixie um, H2O moisturizer. I've already used that. So, um, <laughs> thanks, Vive. <laughs> I could see your back crawling, <laughs> there's no hiding. There's no hiding. Your back was there. Oh my gosh. He takes such good care of me. I swear. Um, 
<laughs> so I, I already used my, my Pixi H2O uh, moisturizer this morning. So I feel nice and hydrated, but I want to use, um, I do want to, I'm, I'm not going to do primer. That's kind of my primer today. I know he's amazing. I'm so thankful. If you haven't checked out his new YouTube channel, definitely do. It is uh, called JG3. And it's not going to be for all of my viewers because it's, you know, it's not makeup related. But it may be. You may enjoy it. Go ahead and check it out and see what you think. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you that I almost forgot to show you. See, super fast to put this on. I got my Smoky Glow merch. I'm so excited. If you don't know the channel Smoky Glow, she's a smaller YouTuber. Not even small. Like, it's like, you know, back in the day, if you had 8,000 subscribers, you were a good size channel. So I don't know how many subscribers Smoky Glow has. I want to say like 15,000, something like that which is significant, um, really great, down to earth, really fun YouTuber. And I got some of her merch, I got one of her um, mugs that says hi friends on it. I forget where I showed that, I might've showed that in live chat last week, but I also got this tank. And this is so stinking cute, look at this. And it's got this cute little back, I'm like, I'm gonna rock this in the summer. And it says on there, trying to look like an Instagram model. Isn't that amazing? So I'm really excited to rock this in a month or two. So excited. I ha I've tried it on and it fits really, really nicely. This is a size small, I believe. Yeah, this is a size small. And I'm very excited about my smoky glow shirt. So I just wanted to let you know and show you that. Oh, another plug that I wanted to give out to another YouTuber is that I'm going to be on the Half Cousins podcast tonight at 10 p.m. with Georgia Harris and Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. And I'm very, very excited to hang out with them late tonight. We're going to be live on their um, YouTube channel. It's a podcast, but it's on their YouTube channel. So um, you can see our faces going back and forth. I've never done anything like that, which I'm really excited to explore. because I would love to bring guests on to live chat, and I've never done that before. So they're going to teach me about how to do that. Um, but yeah, I'll be on the Half Cousins podcast tonight. You can look for, if you just look for Half Cousins podcast on YouTube, you search for that, you'll find the YouTube channel. They have a bunch of podcasts they've done with a bunch of other YouTubers. So I'm very excited to do that. I wanted to mention that as well. In case you were interested, we're going to be waxing Supernatural, which is my favorite television show. All right. So concealer, this is the ColourPop concealer. I really like this because it is very easy to blend out and it doesn't crease into my fine lines, which makes me super happy. I tried to pull as many drugstore products as I could uh, because I am trying to share more really good drugstore priced options with you because there's no sense spending a stupid amount of money on makeup if you don't have to you know I mean it's fun sometimes to get something and feel that luxury feel of buying something really expensive and like feeling all bougie and all that like there's definitely something to be said for that but sometimes it's like like today we're talking about you know um you know, doing makeup when you don't have time. It's like, let's not be over dramatic all the time with our makeup, you know? Uh, let's see what everybody's saying. Melody says, Jen, I hope you review the Ronnie Cosmetics new eyeshadow palette. It's sold out, but I'm sure she'll bring it back. You know, I saw she was releasing it and I did not get it. And I don't know why I, I slept on it. I was busy and things and I thought about getting it and then I didn't. And I don't know. Oh no, man. Um, oh, concealer wise, I'm using light 14 from ColourPop. And then this here is called 201 blush. It's a little bit dark for me, but because it um, is such a light coverage, it blends it really nicely with my skin. Ooh with my skin. And then for a powder, we're gonna be using Creamy Natural. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is an old favorite of mine. I've had, I've. this is I think the third one of these that I bought. And that's a lot for me. I don't repurchase things because I never run out of things because I'm always hopping from product to product to product to review. Um, so this is, I think, the third one of these I've gone through. It's a fantastic pressed powder. And I personally prefer when I'm going fast to use a pressed powder over a loose powder. Number one, it's less messy. Number two, I find it easier to press into the skin because I can just go like this. I usually use a flat top kabuki. This is a different one than the um, one I used for foundation. You can use the one for that you use for foundation, but I find it junks up the brush a little bit faster, and I like to procrastinate on washing my brushes as long as possible. <laughs> so, so I use a different brush for powder products and cream products, um, and then I just kind of press this instead of fluffing. Um, you can fluff, but I find that it looks prettier and it might, my base lasts longer if I press rather than fluff overall. So I'm just going to just 
press that a little bit. That light really blows me out. All right, let's see what everybody else is saying. Mm, AMD says, I need to learn fast makeup. I have a toddler, girlfriend. I know. I know that feeling, man. <sighs> those are some times. I am so thankful I'm past those times with my kids. Like, little kids are so stinking cute. And they're so fun. And it's so fun to, to see what they're learning and to see them grow and learn more words and form more thoughts and their little personalities come out. But toddlers are hard. They're exhausting. At least mine were. Some people's toddlers probably aren't exhausting, but mine were. <laughs> All right, so I am using the CoverGirl Lid Lockup. This is a fantastic eyeshadow primer. My favorite drugstore priced eyeshadow primers are this one and then the Ulta brand eyeshadow primer are fantastic. I do skip face primer. I do not skip eyeshadow primer um, because I feel like it helps my eyeshadow to go on a little bit better. And I feel like it helps with the ease of application of my eyeshadow. I just realized I got quite a few CoverGirl products over here. I am on CoverGirl PR, so I do get a lot of their stuff. And, um, you know, some of the, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I like better that I've gotten from them. Of course, there's been some duds, but, you know, there's duds from every brand, I think. Aww. Uh, Hazel Eyes Chick Jen says, uh, literally watching you as I put my face on. Yay, we can do it together. We can hang out together. Banshee Muse uses press powder and rush. And then um, Smith K says, love Rimmel Stay. Yes, it's so good. So good. Morning, Steph. Good to see you. One of our favorite admin moderator people on uh, live chat. Oh, my gosh. Jen Steak says, I have a toddler, two teenagers, plus a full-time job. Girl. Girl. Can't even imagine. Jennifer likes the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. Nice. All right. So we're going to use a brow pencil. I find brow pencils to be the easiest and fastest way to do my brows. Is it my my favorite product to use for brows that make them look the nicest? For me, no. I personally prefer a brow powder. I feel like that makes my brows look the nicest. But brow pencils are definitely faster, in my opinion. That's my thought. Come on, it's not rolled up all the way. And you know what I figured out? And um, I did this while I was doing ingredient research a long time ago. Is that a lot of brow pencils are the exact same or very similar formulas. And it varies between prices. Um, that a lot, like honestly, like a lot of brow products are almost the exact same stinking thing. And also another thing about brow products, about, about brow pencils specifically is that not wait hold on let me rewind sleepyhead so brow pencils a lot of them are very similar formulas even from drugstore to high end very similar formulas um the other thing is that the roll-up kind you get a lot less product than you do in like a sharpenable kind so if you're looking to make a product last longer this these kind of roll-up brow pencils are the worst for running out quickly um, so if you want to get the bang for your buck, I definitely recommend getting either like a brow gel, a brow powder, something other than these roll-up kinds. I one time calculated the price per gram of an Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, roll-up brow whiz pencil. And I think it was like thousand, like over $1,000 per gram of product. Something insane. Because like this one is 0 0.08 grams. And it's like... 20 bucks or something, this product. So, you know, it adds up really quickly. Um, I don't know how long it takes you to go through a brow pencil, but when I use just one brow pencil, it can take me a few months to go through a brow pencil. And I'm not trying to spend $20 every few months, honestly. That's just my opinion. Spool it out. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Mm-hmm. Afra says just get um, the NYX one or the, um, the ELF one. I've never tried the ELF one, but I, I have used the, the NYX one in the past, and I did like it. Uh, let's see. 
Margie says, I love brow mascara even quicker than pencil if you have some some brows, that is. I find that with me, because I have my spaces that are in my brows, I need something a little more than a brow gel if I'm going to like completely fill in my brows. But you're right, a brow gel can be very fast. Thank you for making that suggestion. Angela says, anything with the benefit goof proof just makes me look ridiculous. I also like Tarte's Busy Gal Brow Gel. I've never tried the Tarte one. Um, this one is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. Oh, I should tell you if any of this was sent to me in PR. Anything you see CoverGirl here was sent to me in PR. This brow product was sent to me in PR, and I think that's it. I think I bought everything else. Oh, no. My, the, uh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll, well, the eyeliner that I'm going to use from Doll 10 was sent, and then I was going to show you these pencils from... Um, from the balm that I believe I purchased some and then they sent me some. So I don't know if these are the purchased ones or the set ones, but I always like to tell you what I got in PR. Everything else is purchased. All right, let's go into eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, what I do when I want to do my eyeshadow very quickly is I really focus on like three colors. I mean, some people can do just one color, like a one color eyeshadow look can look absolutely beautiful. But for me, like I always like feel like I need more than that. If I'm really in a rush, I grab like a cream product. Like today we're going to use this ColourPop uh, Crystal Castle Jelly Much Shadow. I got these because of Angelica Nyquist, who um, is another fantastic YouTuber, and she recommended getting these. I have not tried this one yet. One of them is, it was like an iridescent one. I didn't like that one at all. Um, actually, let me get it so I can tell you. Okay, it is. Hold on. I have it right here. Is it this one? Yes, this one right here. This one is called Ventura. This one creased on me so bad. It was stinking terrible. It was awful. It's really pretty to go on, but through the day, it looked absolutely terrible on me. Let me see if I can show you the iridescence in there. Can you see the purple iridescence? There's a little bit of purple goodness in there. It's really hard to pick up on camera. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, but it creased really, really bad. There's a gold one, though, that did really well. And I don't see it in my box. Oh, here it is. This one right here performed beautifully. This one is called Origami. This one did really well. So I haven't tried this one yet today. This one yet. This one is called Crystal Castle. This is the one we're going to be using today. So if I'm really in a rush, I'll just use like one of these batter up crayons. Uh, Laura Mercier makes a fancier, schmancier version of these, but I don't think that it's that much better to be honest than these. Um, the like just like a cream. Just boo, 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 all over the lid, done. Um, but I personally like to use a little bit of crease slash transition before I put that on. Just as, you know, just what I do. Just what I do. Uh, chocolate gold palette, that's too much work. I don't have time for all that today. <laughs> I don't want to put the effort in, to be honest with you. All right, so I'm going to put this peach shade. This is the CoverGirl um, True Naked Peach Palette. For drugstore eyeshadow, this stuff is really good. And I mean that when I say for drugstore eyeshadow, because a lot of drugstore eyeshadows I do not enjoy. Um, and this is one that I do enjoy, these CoverGirl True Naked palettes. These, and then the ones that are from the Sally Beauty Supply, the Collab um, brand. Those are my favorite drugstore eyeshadows as far as comparing to higher end quality and lasting power and application. Um, close to high end price and um, close to drugstore prices, I would say Juvia's Place is another excellent recommendation for, um, for lower priced eyeshadow that performs very well because you don't want an eyeshadow that you're going to have to fight with. You want one that's going to go on easily, quickly. You don't have to think about it. It's amazing. Brittany says L'Oreal single shadows are good too. Thank you so much for that. I used to use those L'Oreal single cream shadows. And I haven't used them in years. I think they discontinued one that I really liked and then I got mad and I stopped using them. <laughs> so, you know, you get that. And then I just was like, forget it. I'm not buying these anymore. <laughs> Uh, Jane says the blink palette is my go-to for a quick look. My favorite from Boxy. Yes, that blink palette was amazing. I actually have it right here. It's right here. It's so good. This one right here. This is the one you're talking about. This one right here. This is so good. Yes. This is a fantastic eyeshadow palette. You can see how much I've used it. Not enough, but it is really good. It's a lot of shim It's all shimmers though. So I like to put on, like you do you, like whatever you want, but I like to put matte, like up on my crease and on my brow bone and then put the shimmer on my lid. That's my preferred 
method. And you can see, like, I'm using this really fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40. I'm using this really fluffy brush to get, like, a super light application. I don't want things to go on hard because if it goes on hard, I'm going to have to blend longer, and I don't want to have to do that. I don't have time for all that blending today. No time. I ain't got no time. Uh, April says, Dose of Colors are great for quick, easy looks. Nice. I do like Dose of Colors eyeshadows, definitely. All right, a little bit more. And then we'll go after the cream. So this is what I do. So I put on my base, like just like some kind of like color that's a little darker than my skin tone. A little darker. And then my lid shade is something that's similar in, in depth to my skin tone or a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to try, oh, this is not what I thought it was. I thought this was gonna be peach. It's an iridescent one. Oh man. I hadn't even opened it yet. I thought it was going to be peach. Well, this is not what I was going for. Okay, well, we're going to put this back because this is not um, not what I was going to do. So instead, we're going to use one of those batter up. We'll swatch it just so you can see what it looks like. But I'm, I'm a little nervous to use this. Um, it's too light for what I wanted to go for today. That's what it looks like. We'll swatch. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that will work. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, maybe it will work. I'm just scared it's going to crease all over the place like that other one. Mm. Um, there you go. Steph says, while you have your bronze out, use it for your crease. Easy peasy. Yes. Very smart. Okay, so for this kind of product, I'll either use a flat brush like this or I'll use my fingertip. But for like making less mistakes, I feel like the brush is better because my fingers are too big to go exactly where I want them to go. And one thing that I feel like is important with products like this is to keep my eye like that until I can't feel it that it's wet anymore because I find that a lot of times it'll transfer up onto my crease if I don't, um, if I open my eye. So I don't want that to happen and we're just going to go like that for a minute. <laughs> oh, Jennifer says, does anyone else constantly screenshot the live chat when people make makeup suggestions? That's a smart idea because honestly, like, I feel like a lot of YouTubers don't give enough credit to their subscribers for knowing a stinking lot about makeup and good products. Like, y'all know a lot. Like just because somebody makes videos doesn't mean they know what they're talking about. And just because someone doesn't make videos doesn't mean they don't know what they're talking about. I feel like, you know, lazy brains sometimes, especially with, um, I'm not going to say that, but I feel like sometimes we want to make judgments. People, well, people want to make judgments. Mm -mm -mm. I think it's coming out pretty good. We're not done yet, though. Got a little bit more. Mm. Oh no, Zalmi Trash hears a whooshing sound every time I talk. Mm, maybe it's, you know what, maybe it's the um, my, my neck rubbing against this mic. I'll try to pull it down. It might be my neck rubbing. Thank you for saying that. Because maybe other people are hearing the same thing. Come on, come on. Kylie says, uh, that's why I love this community. So helpful and knowledgeable. I totally agree. That's why I love it too. All right, now we're going to go back into CoverGirl. And we're going to use... Let's use this guy right here, a little bit darker. And we're gonna put that in the crease. This is like an extra step kind of thing, but this is what this is what I do when I'm in a hurry is I use those kind of three kind of shades. And then I pull that in the crease, just to add a little bit of extra dimension. Like that. And then use my blender brush and a blend, blend, blend. And then my eye look is done. That's it. Done. Boop. All finished. Well, I am going to put a little bit on my lower lash line in a minute, but the top. Oh, okay. Phyllis hears, um, is it Phyllis? Felisa hears it too. I think it's my mic on my neck. Oh, no. It went down my shirt. Hold on. Let's see if I can fix that. 
what if I go like that? There we go. That should be better. Let me know if that fixes it, okay? The whooshing. It, I don't think the whooshing is connected to the autofocus just because this is a, um, this camera is really quiet. But I know what you're talking about. There are some cameras that people talk about that there's a um, click click or a whooshing sound. Those are those Canon cameras that, that have really loud autofocus. It shouldn't be it. Zombie Trash says it's not my mic. Then I have no idea. I have no idea then. I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix that. Um, Lisa hears it too. I'm sorry. Do you, uh, Jen says it's still there too. I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix that. I apologize. I don't know what that could be. It might just be my connection. So, Zombie Trash says it's not too loud. Okay. Almost sounds like cars whooshing by. It's so weird. I'm really sorry. All right, eyeliner. We're going to use the To The Point by Doll 10. I've been using this a lot lately. I've really been enjoying it. For eyeliner, I always use, to go fast, I always use a brush tip marker liner thing. Um, the brush tip bends to the eye, where the ones that are more markery, they don't bend to the eye because they're hard, like a marker. And this is soft, so when you put it around your eye, it just bends really easily. Uh, so this is really, really, really good. Alex says it might be the age of the mic and the cable, maybe. Some people can't hear it. Tab can't hear it. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm just going to move on from it. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. All right, so I'm just going to try to move on from it since there's nothing I can do to fix it. I'm sorry. Okay, those of you that are on headphones are hearing it. Now, this is a brown, and I totally just, um, okay, I fixed it. It was just a little bit, um, a little bit too high there, but it worked out. Now with the wing, I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, oh, I'm too scared to do a wing. I don't think I can do a wing. What I started doing, which if you've been watching me in live chat for a while, you probably heard me say this like 30,000 times, but a lot of people haven't heard me say this before, um, is to make the tiniest wing possible. So what I do, what I did when I started doing wings was I lined my total lid, my lid all the way across. Hold on. Okay, so I line my lid all the way across, and then I just make a little tiny point, like that. And try to point it up, not down. Mine's down a little bit. Just a little teeny tiny past in your corner. Just a little bit. But, um, and then when you, when you feel like you're good at that, then make it just a little bit longer. And point it towards your brow. This is not like, there we go. The color wasn't coming off on my eye. Point it towards your brow and then just connect it like a triangle from the line on your lid. And just make it a little longer and a little longer until you feel like it's so long you can't do it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, if you just make a little teeny tiny point in the corner and then get more comfortable and make it a little longer. So, you know, you just want to make sure you stay really close to your lash line. Really, really close. And honestly, like I feel like a lot of people have trouble with eyeliner. It's because of the tool. It's not the person, it's the tool. And I feel like these brush um, ones are fantastic um, to, to be able to easily put liner on. And the marker ones are much, much, much harder. Wait My Action says I use tape. That's a great idea. Shannon says it's very loud on Android. I'm I'm really sorry. I don't know what to do. I, I have no way to. <sighs> A lot of people talking about the sound. So if you're watching this on the replay, I apologize. I'm really sorry. I don't know what I don't know what to do. I mean, my only other option would be to just turn off the chat and be done and maybe restart it. But It's like that's what the entire chat is about right now. So I, I don't I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, well, hopefully, I mean, I'm just like, I'm so tired today that it's like, I'm like doing all, because <laughs> I'm just so tired. 
Okay, so I forgot to bring mascara over, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mascara, and I will be, actually, you know what? I'll just, well, I need to put, get a mascara that I actually know I really like. Hold on a second. Hold on. I was gonna get the mascara I've been using a lot lately, but I can't find it. All right, so we'll just use this one. This is the Essence Lash Princess, which you all know that I absolutely adore. Um, and it goes on very fast and easy. This one is the one that's called the Volume Mascara. The green one is also really good. The purple one is my least favorite, but it's still really, really good. This one's starting to dry out. It's kind of old. Um, I personally don't curl my lashes because my lashes have a natural curl and they're also very short. So curling my lashes is an extra step for me. And I, I honestly don't ever curl my lashes. When I was really young, I used to curl my lashes because I thought I was supposed to. Um, and I used to curl them when I, after I put my mascara on, which of course would rip out my lashes, which was not a good thing. <laughs> Um, nail polish today. This is, um, it's, hold on. I took a picture of it. It's over there. I'll get it in a second. I know where it is. It's right behind me. It's a, a Zoya polish. And then I have a julep polish on my ring finger as kind of a topper on that color on that finger to make it a little sparkly. Kind of look like this is starting to chip a little bit. You can see that. But I've had this polish on for like four days. It still looks really good. I feel like mascara is one of those things that takes so long no matter what I do. Quirky Beauty, are you sad about the Julep Beauty boxes? I am unbelievably sad that there will be no more Julep Maven boxes. I have been a Julep Maven subscriber since, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many years. Since I lived in my old house, um... I, at least three years, maybe four years, I've been a Julep Maven subscriber. And I stink and love that subscription. That's where most of my nail polishes came from, is from that subscription box. And I'm super, super sad that they had to cancel it. They're doing really bad that was a brand. And I think it's because they discount, they discount stuff way too much, which I wasn't complaining about, but, you know. But I absolutely love it. All right, let me get the polishes real quick. It's right here. Right here. Oh, is that it? Yeah, this one. And then this one. So the, the Zoya polish is called, I'm getting shocked by my microphone, it's so weird. Um, this is called Mason. This one right here, so, so pretty. And then the Julep one that's the sparkle is called Alicia, A-L-Y-S-H-A. Let me see if you can see the sparkle in there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but they, they would give, like, if you think about, okay, the jewel polishes, I think, on their own are, what, like $14, something like that, $12, if you just buy one jewel polish at the store. And then in the subscription box, you would get three for $21 or $20. $20? $20, you'd get three of them. Uh, and then they would do the, the big mystery boxes, 35 bucks, you get over $100 worth of stuff. You know, you get makeup and nail polish and all kinds of stuff. And it was like, they just, I think they just made stuff too cheap. You know, which stinks because, I mean, I enjoyed it because I got a lot of stuff that I like. But I think that's what happened. All right. So for face, for this part of my face. Actually, no. Let's do lower lash line real quick. Let's finish up the eyes. Um, I do usually put a little bit of my lower lash line. So I'm going to put this guy right here on my lower lash line just real quick because it's so pretty and I just put it on the outer corner like from the center to the outer corner and I feel like that opens my eyes I feel like if I put it all the way across it makes my eyes look smaller um, so I never put a dark color all the way across with my eyes. It just doesn't look good unless I'm going out like smoky date night kind of situation. Um, and then sometimes I'll even put like a shade like this, this lighter shade right here and put that in the inner corner and that opens it up even a little bit more and gives a little bit more shine there. And this one's so pretty. By the way, this palette does smell like peaches. If you don't like that, you're not going to like it because it's pretty strong. It's not as strong as Too Faced palettes, but it's still pretty strong. 
And then if you want to go further, you can put some in the inner corner, but I'm, I'm trying to go fast here. I'm trying to go fast. No extra steps, Jen. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, Moderable says, um, do you know why Payless is going out of business? I didn't realize Payless was going out of business. That's crazy. Man, it's the end of an era. I had my favorite boots from when I was 13. They have these black boots with, they had metal tips and they had metal buckles on the side. And they were my favorite boots. I got those at Payless. My grandma bought them for me at Payless. My grandmother is no longer with me. She, um, she bought those for me and they were my favorite boots for like two years. Love those boots. They're from Payless. <laughs> Uh, Super Nick 126 says, would you consider a room tour? Emily, what Noel did one, and I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. I'm always wondering how the rest of your room looks. Um, I might, I, I don't, I don't think it, you guys would find it very interesting. <laughs> I mean, really it's like, I've got brushes over there and then all my husband's camera equipment is over there. And then I've got a pile of, I've my, got my giveaway box over there that needs to be emptied I need to give stuff away and then my closet and you can see most of anything that's cool in this room you can see Every, there's nothing else cool <laughs> to be honest with you Emily does have a really nice room because I was I'm very thankful I got to actually be there and go to Emily's room that was incredible um, blush today we're using the essence mosaic blush and this is a really nice lightly pigmented blush I don't like to use really pigmented blushes when I'm rushing because that again more blending we don't want to have to blend as much as possible we want to put it on and we want to go and this is a really nice lighter pigmented blush I don't even know if you can see it but like right now I've got the pigmentation that I want it's just a little bit but because of the lights and everything, let me see if I can make this, see if you can see it a little better. Not really, but it's there. It's enough. It's enough. I don't want to put more on. But lightly painted, I do not contour when I'm rushing. That's too much. That's an extra step. I will put on a little bit of highlight. And for highlight, I'm going to use another essence. This is the Pure Nude Highlighter. Super, super subtle. I will not use an Ofra highlight when I am trying to rush because if I end up looking like you know, like I'm about to shoot off into space. I don't want to have to deal with that, you know, like and making sure it's blended out and not stripey. Like I want something that's going to be nice and subtle and easy to put on and go. So I don't have to worry about making a mistake because the more pigmentation, the more likely it is going to make a mistake and you're going to need to blend it out. Um, Kylie says, I'd love to see some nail videos from you sometimes. I always stare at the polish rack during the videos. Yeah, you know what's funny is like, I, I have like, I've loved my polishes and I used to do nail videos and every time I do a nail video, like it's like the lowest viewed videos on my channel. And like, I'm trying to figure out like right now what you all want to see, like really and truly, because when I, when I poll and find out what people want to see and then I do that. People don't actually watch it. And it's like, it's totally weirding me out. So I might just like end up just throwing it all out the window and just do whatever I want to do. And just be like, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to do what I want to do because the polls don't work. It's so weird because like you would watch it like a nail polish video. And I'm sure like maybe 2000 people would watch it. But for a channel of my size, like I'm supposed to be getting like 20,000 views a video. My last video I put out, I think got like 6,000 views, which isn't where my channel is supposed to be. I'm very thankful for those 6,000 views. I'm thankful for those 6,000 people that watched um, my, it wasn't an eyeliner, but my brow video on the, um, on the Urban Decay brow product. You know, I'm very thankful and I'm so thankful that people that did watch it really enjoyed it. And I think that's great. But if, you know, I, I'm trying to make my audience happy, I need to figure out what what people will truly want to watch. So I'm working on that. I'm also working on my review process. Um, oh, lipstick. Before I go into my review process, um, lipstick. I am never going to use a liquid lipstick when I'm in a hurry. Never. I will always use a stick lipstick. Always. Every time. So this is Lorac and this is the Secret Agent shade. Uh, it's a little darker. I, every time I put this on, I say the same thing. It's a little darker than I wanted. Um, an alternate, alternate to that 
if I can find it. Where did that, what happened to it? Oh, here it is. Alternate to that is CoverGirl. This is the Tempting Toffee shade. I really like this one as well. It's a little bit lighter. I'm actually going to put that in the center a little bit. That's an extra step. I wouldn't do that if I was rushing. <laughs> okay, I just put it all over. Kind of lighten it a little bit. This formula is fantastic. This Cover Girl Tempting Top. This Cover Girl, um, what are these things called? I don't know. The Cover Girl lipsticks, it's Exhibitionist maybe lipsticks. I forget what this line is called. And it doesn't say it on here. It just says Cover Girl, but I really like those a lot. They're really nice. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to like. I think I need to cut back on the ingredient analysis section of my videos because I feel like at this point, like if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you've heard all of the ingredient, like for all the major ingredients that are in makeup, you've already heard it. So I feel like I'm being repetitive at this point. So I think that when I do ingredient analysis, it's going to be more like, okay, so this product has a bunch of hydrating ingredients and here's a list and it has some possible irritants and here's a list and then let's move on, you know, instead of going so in depth in the ingredients. And, you know, um, you know, like I mentioned another week is I don't want to be a PowerPoint presentation, you know, I don't want to like bore people like I'm at a staff meeting. You know, I'm coming out of I'm coming out of being a teacher who used to give presentations. And I think that that really went into a lot of the way that I've been doing my videos. And I'm finding that a lot of people are really bored by that. And I don't want people to be bored. I was thinking I was like helping people learn something new, which is what I personally like. But it seems like a lot of people don't want all that, you know. So I don't know. It's really hard figuring out what people want. And you know, there's the temptation to try to copy somebody else that's successful. You're like, oh, well, what are they doing that's making them do really, really well? Maybe I should start doing those kinds of things. And But I don't want to do that either, man. I don't want to be somebody else. I don't want to do someone else's content. I don't want to, you know, like I want to do what I, like me, I want to be me. And it's like, I don't know. So it's a really weird job, this YouTube thing. It's a super weird job. <laughs> It's very weird and you know, I just do the best that I can and hope that people like it and you know Keep rolling with it and let's just have fun and you know, it's all good. It's all good. It is what it is <laughs> uh, Anissa says you, you shortening your ingredient analysis just assigning you to go on a Jen Loves Reviews video binge to learn about ingredients I mean, I'm still gonna do it like I still feel like ingredients are important and I think a lot of people really want to learn about that stuff, but I think it's just going to be shortened. And, you know, I'll, I'll still tell you if there's ingredients in it that are wonky or weird or whatever. I think I'm just going to, like, make it a little shorter. See, and then, it, so it's like, you know, and then this person who I can't read your name because it's not uh, a, a English characters, I subscribed to you because of ingredient analysis. I'm so glad that you've enjoyed it. And I am still going to do it. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to do it. It's just going to be, like, in a shortened format. And this is the thing that kills me is it's like, there are so many people complaining about it, that it's too long, that it's too in-depth, it's boring, you know, they don't care. So if I shorten it, then I might make those people happy. But in the end, I'm going to make other people unhappy. And I'm never going to make everybody happy, no matter what I do, no matter what I do. So I just have to like, I was talking to um, my husband, John, about this, you know, I need to Marie Kondo my YouTube channel. You know, what, what parts of my YouTube channel bring me joy? You know, what parts of my YouTube channel bring me joy and what doesn't bring me joy, I need to cut out. You know, I need to like cut it out if it doesn't bring me joy. And I love doing ingredient analysis, but it does take a really long time uh, to, it takes a really long time to do the ingredient analyses. And I feel like I want to do more videos instead of spending so much time on one video to do less time and do more videos. Kind of like the brow video that I did. Um, where it was faster, it was just giving you information about the product, showing it go on, and then moving on. Um, so, yeah. Susan says, "What? Who's who's that declutter lady that uses that philosophy?" Yeah, Marie Kondo. Exactly, exactly. Um, and I do always. My husband's here. He's like, "Yeah, she always does the timestamps." I do, but I like. Even though I always do the timestamps, there's still going to be people that are not going to use the timestamps and complain. It's always going to be something. It's always going to be something. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep trying to do what I want to do. It's like, it's so, it's such a weird job. <laughs> it's so weird. 
Um, yeah, Darla said, I love to know what's in makeup because I, um, I have allergies and I can't put some things on my face. I know, right? Um, Bree says, can you do two videos, your standard ingredient analysis and your second short, what's in the makeup like review? I tried that once um, and it did not go well. <laughs> Nobody liked it. I did that with a Kat Von D eyeshadow palette, and the vast majority of people did not like it. Uh, where I did one that was more informational, and then one that was more performance, and it did not go well. So, I did it once, though. More collabs. I do have more collabs in the works. Um, I'm waiting for some things to, I'm waiting for somebody to make some choices so I can decide when I'm doing this one travel thing, because that would be soon. So all the other collab things that I have lined up that I've already talked to people about and agreed that we're going to do a travel collab, those are all waiting for this one thing to possibly happen. And it should, I should find out more information in the next two weeks about this thing that might happen. So if that thing happens, then I'll be doing a travel collab in March. So... I'm working on that. I do want to do more travel collabs. I have three that I've uh, that we've I've talked to three different people about doing doing travel collabs. So I love doing the travel collabs. They make me so happy. They're so fun. I love it's something I absolutely love. I love seeing new places. I love meeting new people. I love filming with other people because I feel like when I film with other people, it brings out other parts of my personality that you don't get to see if I'm just presenting information. When I'm just presenting information, you get more teacher gen than you get like conversational hanging out gen like we are right now. You know, like I, I don't have the same vibe when I'm presenting information in an informational video, you know. MD says, I love the ABH comparison video, and I would love to do another one of those on Juvia's Place. I have that on my list of things I want to do um, and compare all the Juvia's Place palettes because I have almost all the Juvia's Place palettes, almost all of them. I love those stinking things. Uh, let's see. Super Nick says, I really loved your PR pickup video at your husband's shop after vacation. It was a fun video. I really like that one too. And my husband is really good at the cinematic effects. If you haven't seen his YouTube channel, he's really good at those cinematic effects and try and, you know, making it look more like a movie, but it's really hard to fit that into a beauty channel. Uh, but we did do that in there. And then he also helped me with the, um, when I did the ramen box, the, the it was, um, it's called ramen. What was it called? Ramen. It was a ramen noodle subscription box that I got in PR while I was gone. And I filmed it with uh, Natalie, who's a tattoo artist over at the studio. And he helped me to make that one a little more cinematic too. That was really fun. And I would love to make more videos like that, but it's just kind of figuring out, you know, how to fit that into a makeup review, you know? Oh, Teresa says, I was so excited when I discovered the one with you and Emily. That was so much fun. She is an incredible sweetheart. Emily is just like we went out to dinner and drank a beer and ate barbecue. And it was like, I'm eating barbecue with Emily Noel 83. This is amazing. <laughs> that was when I cried. She cried in the video. I cried like twice before we filmed. Um, I cried at dinner and I think I cried. I got teary eyed one other time. <laughs> She's amazing. She's a wonderful person. I have like, seriously, everybody that I've collabed with from Bailey Sarian to, um, you know, Emily and Stephanie Nicole and, um, you know, Risa does makeup and yay or nay Nicole. I mean, all these people that I've collabed with, I know I'm missing one or two. They're all such incredible people. And I've been very lucky that I've gotten along so well with everybody that I've collabed with. It's been wonderful. Melissa says John's channel is great. You also check it out. I think it's great too. It's doing a great job. Um, I'm done getting ready, by the way. I'm all finished. I didn't mention that. I'm all done. We're just chatting now. So anything you all want to talk about for the next 12 minutes is fine with me. I am like, I'm so like, oh, I'm so tired. I did want to show you one more thing as far as uh, tips and tricks as far as doing things fast. These uh, cream products are really good for highlighting, um, cream blush sticks and highlighting sticks. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick. Let me swatch it for you. I'm pretty, I think Michelle might have gotten this for me. My, um, she's a, a um, admin on my Facebook group. She's a reporter. She's a mod on here. Um, I'm pretty sure she bought this for me. It's really pretty, very fast. Just going to, and then I just go burr, 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 and tap it in really quickly. And then this is a highlighter from Julep. This is their Sheer Glow Cream to Powder Blush Stick, but it's really a highlighter. And these are really nice too. So just do very, very quickly and just done. 
So that was another thing I wanted to share. I think that was the last thing. Look, a little bit. <laughs> Um, Radonna says, uh, one video I loved was you criticizing the Jaclyn Hill video. Oh, that's never going to happen again. I didn't mean it to be just mean and it, it came off kind of mean and I really didn't mean it. That is probably my biggest regret of a video that I ever made. I should have done it when I wasn't tired. I should have done it di totally differently. Like I don't regret like the, 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 well, I do kind of, I just, I just regret the way that I did it. Like that I've just focused on one video because like, react videos are like a thing. So I was like, okay, well, how can I make a beauty twist on the react video? And I did that video and I, I played a Jaclyn Hill video. If you didn't see it, I played a Jaclyn Hill video and I kind of talked about, you know, things that I really liked about her review and things that I thought could be better. But a lot of people interpreted it as me being mean and picking on her, but that wasn't the intention of it. It was just kind of like a react video, you know, I mean, I honestly like, it just wasn't done well. It's one of, I think, two videos on my channel where subscribers that I know and love were like, Jen, this ain't it. <laughs> Jen, this ain't it. April said I would love a collab with Jessica from Jam Beauty. I have tried to do a, a travel collab with Jess, I think, three times, and it's never worked out for one reason or another. But Jess and I definitely have a mutual respect. Jess and I, uh, you know, we both really uh, respect each other, which is wonderful because I adore her. She's, she was a subscriber of mine before I was a subscriber of hers, back when she had like, I don't know, like 20,000 subscribers, something like that, maybe even less, when she had, hadn't been on YouTube very long. So I've known Jess for a long, long time. We don't talk on the regular or anything, but I've tried very hard. Ooh, Bailey B would be a good collab, Bobby. I agree. Jennifer says, I can never see you being mean. I think we would get along great. Probably. We probably would. If you watch that video, you, you, you can see where people would interpret it as being mean. And I, I can totally see it. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, you know? Courtney says, Sabrina collab. I would love to collab with Sabrina. Sabrina is another channel that I adore. And we, we talk on Twitter every once in a while. I love her to death. She's got those little babies, though. So it's like, Jess has little babies, too. So it's hard when you've got little babies. It really is hard. So it's hard to collab with them. But yeah, do it. April says you should do it at Disney. Girl, Disney is expensive. Oh my gosh. Disney is so expensive. I don't know how she goes so often. <laughs> uh, Samantha March. I would love to collab with Samantha March one day. I did have the opportunity to meet Samantha as well. She is a real sweetheart. We didn't hang out a ton. Uh, we hung out one evening at Gen Beauty. It was me and Samantha and Ashley Clady and um, Linda from Glenner Fallout that I was uh, rooming with. And then there was one other person. Who else was there? Oh my gosh, I'm totally spacing out. It's like, I see the couch and I see Samantha and I see Ashley. And, I mean, I see, um, oh my gosh, sleepy brain. Clady. <laughs> and then I see a third person and I can't remember who it was. And it's driving me nuts. I've met Makeup Struggles too. She's amazing. Uh, Rob Beauty Christie is amazing. These are all wonderful people. I love all these people. They're all fabulous. Makeup Struggles, she is funny, man. I got to hang out with her and Georgia Harris um, quite a bit. We actually went back to Georgia's hotel room and we hung out for like two hours just chatting about whatever. I love them too. Absolutely. Tati, you know, I, I entered that Tati contest a long time ago and I was a finalist in Tati's contest uh, to collab with her and I did not, I did not win. So I did not collab, but I would definitely collab with Tati. I would. Um, Porcelain, she, I, you know, I just discovered her not that long ago. She seems very, very sweet. I've never met her. Uh, Taylor from that Taylor. Oh, I love her too. I would love to collab with her one day. Nady from Pop Lux, absolutely. I, you know, I don't watch Sophie Does Nails. I should definitely check it out. Cassie and I tried to collab at one point and that fell through. Um, but Cassie from Thrift Thick, I would love to collab with her. These, you guys have great suggestions. Angelica Nyquist, oh my gosh, I'll go out to Sweden. <laughs> Fly out to Sweden and collab with Angelica. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, Leisha from X Sparkage, another person I already collab with. She's amazing. She's awesome. All right, let's see change the subject because we've we've talked about this for a while. Let's move on to something else. Um, yeah, let's see. What else can we chat about? I'm, I'm digging on my eye look. My eyeliner's a little wonky. You see how it's like got kind of like it's like low here and high there. I'm not a big fan of that. I need to fix that, but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm feeling lazy. Um, 
Angela said, I heard about your channel for Emily Noel. Nice, nice. You know, I actually want to see you with Beauty News. I don't know what would happen if Beauty News and I ended up in the same room. We'd probably be better friends than we are now. If we if we were in the same room and actually had a conversation, I think that we would we would get along better. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer says, someone mentioned about Sephora voting for you. I'm not applying to the Sephora um, thing. I'm not applying to that. I don't think that's me. I'm not a makeup tutorial person. So, nope, not doing that. <laughs> Julia skincare videos. I do have a video, uh, my drugstore video. Drugstore skincare video is going to be out probably early May, early June, somewhere in between there. Uh, Angela, new topic. Do you honor expiration dates? Nope. <laughs> I don't. I should, but I don't. I can see why other people do. Um, Tab says universe would implode if that happened, if I got in the same room with beauty news. No, maybe. We could do a makeup breakup. Their makeup breakup concept is genius. It really is. Um, what's one palette you'll never declutter? Uh... Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I was actually just talking about that yesterday with my sister-in-law. I was over her house. She had a Valentine's Day party yesterday. And um, we were talking about new eyeshadow palettes. She's thinking about getting one of the Huda Beauty palettes, the um, the pink one. And I was telling her, I was like, we thought about getting chocolate gold because it's really good. Um, and she was thinking about it, but she's feeling like she likes more of like the warm tones. She wanted more warm tone colors. So she's not going to get chocolate gold. Um, and a blue singer says, I would like to collaborate with you. Aww. Thank you so much. She says in your videos and your live, you're so sweet and fun. I enjoy your information videos. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, Julie, who's your favorite ASMR person? I have a favorite and I'm actually getting some stuff together to send to her. She's amazing. Her name used to be whisper Latina, but now it's ASMR Joni, J O N I E. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Like, I would love to collab with her. She lives in California, I believe. I thought she lived in Mexico. She lives on the California-Mexico border, somewhere, either on Mexico side, California side, somewhere in there. And I love her. Oh my gosh. So I'm getting some stuff together for her. I have some makeup for her and some skincare for her and some tools and stuff that hopefully she'll be able to use in her videos. She's my favorite. I love her. So if you like ASMR, ASMR Joni. If you like role play, she does like the role play thing. So yes, Julie says ASMR, get ready with me, collab. That would be amazing. I'd love that. Yeah, Misty's here. Hi, Misty. Jennifer says, you put face oil on before or after moisturizer. I put it on before. Uh, I don't know if that's right or not, but I put it on before because I kind of take it as like a serum. So I put it on before. Uh, Rebecca says, would you do a Sydney Grace brand review, including her cream shadows? I would love to try some Sydney Grace. I think that's a great idea. I just haven't, I haven't gotten there, you know, and I've heard so many good things about Sydney Grace. It's an indie brand. If you're not aware, um, I, I really have heard great things and I've talked to the owner of Sydney Grace a little bit on Twitter here and there. Um, she seems very, very nice. Angela says, is face oil necessary? Um, I don't know. I think that, you know, you have to find out with skincare what works best for you and your skin. Is it necessary? I mean, it just kind of depends on what your goals are. Like, what are your skincare things you're trying to do? Uh, I personally use oils for, um, like, moisturization, of course, in the skin and um, balancing the skin. There's uh, one drugstore, one that I'm using right now that I really, really like a lot from um, Derma E in my bathroom. I don't remember which one it's called, but I'll, I'll definitely show you that eventually. But there's a Dome E face oil that I really, really love. Um, and there's a lot of really good effects to oils on the skin uh, as far as like anti-aging, hydration, um, you know, I'm trying to think other ones. I don't want to misspeak, uh, but there's a lot of good um, skincare benefits with face oils, even for uh, oily and acne prone skin. So is it necessary? Can you just use a moisturizer? I mean, I think it's more a personal preference, too. You could use one or the other. You could use both. Right now, I'm using both. So, uh, Wake Up Makeup says the Hood and Nude palette's not that great. It looks better in pictures. And I told her that. Like, I was like, I haven't heard great things about it. Like, I've heard, it's, it seems very mixed. Hmm. 
and say, Um, CK says, Sydney Grace looks beautiful. Christina Tantalia always says wonderful reviews on her blog. Christina Tantalia is like, that woman. It's like, there's certain people I'm always like, mm. I don't know how she does what she does. I am incredibly, always been incredibly impressed with her blog. Unbelievable. If you do not go over to Tantalia, like, highly recommend checking it out. It's definitely one of my, if not my favorite. Uh, online resource for makeup swatches, dupes, just information about new products. It's it's so good as far as a blog goes. So good. Michelle says, overall, just do what works for you. Absolutely. Totally agree, Michelle. Um, Evangelina, what do you think about powder foundations? Uh, did I say that right? Evgenia. I mean, Evgenia, I apologize, I, I butchered that at first, Evgenia. Uh, powder foundations are really nice for a light coverage. I find that a lot of times they don't last a long time on me, so I usually use powder foundations as a topper over a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer to increase the coverage of it. I don't typically wear them on on their own, um, but that's just that's just me. Deanna says, Jen, I give you credit for everything you do. Oh, thank you, I try, I try. Uh, Michelle Mafia, Musings of the Muse is awesome too. Yes, absolutely. I've been connecting with her on Twitter a little bit too. She seems very, very nice. Um, all right, I should probably pop off here. Oh. Tired, should I go take a nap? <laughs> I should probably pop off though. I have my nephew's basketball game this week and then we are celebrating my grandmother's 90th birthday today over at my mother's house. Um, she is an amazing, amazing woman. She's a dancer. She's amazing. She's just a very calm, sweet person. And I'm very excited to celebrate with her for her 90th birthday. Uh, so, yeah. So that's what I'm doing today and what I got ready for. I hope you have a good day, wherever you are and what you're doing. And we will see you here for live chat next week. Let me see what date it is. Let's see if it'll be a 5 p.m. Uh, it is the last Sunday of the month. Uh, we were going to try to do a 5 p.m. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't think, I think a 5 p.m., hmm, because my kids and I, were getting our hair cut and colored on the 24th. So it's possible we'll do a 5 p.m. Keep an eye on the end of, live, of uh, What's Up in Makeup. For next week uh, to see what time chat is going to be. I'm going to shoot for five, but it just kind of depends on this hair appointment that my kids and I have. We go to this woman's house to get her hair done, so um, she's pretty flexible as far as times go. I don't know if she has any other appointments that day or not, though, so I'm going to have to check with her. So, yeah, um, hope that you're doing very, very well. Keep an eye out this week. I do have uh, another one of those fast reviews for you, and then I also have the assumptions about me tag going live this week, which I'm excited for you to see. So, all right, mad love. I'll see you soon. Bye.